Welcome, Welcome to, to the Bass, Bass Plugs. All right, guys. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about a bait that we absolutely love and something that's stand true to us, you know, throughout the years, and that is the Mega Bass Jerk Bait. Um, it's a bait that's put a lot of fish in the boat for us, and it's done us really well. A lot of won us a lot of money as well. So um, we love these baits, and we're going to just touch on a few different ways of you know techniques of how we use them, uh, different colors that we like to select, different sizes even, just basically go through and give a rundown of why we like these baits and you know why we choose to fish them so and yeah, so the first thing we we'll get into you know probably the most important thing is how to fish them uh, how we use them when we go out in the water they, they work the same way that any jerk bait that you've ever used would work um, these are a little bit better in the sense that they suspend more than most jerk baits do and the uh, way we fish them we try to find cover try to find points depending on where the fish are at what cycle they're in uh, the water temperature is cooler, we're going to work the baits much slower. We're going to pop them and let them sit for even up to a minute or so. Uh, we just work them through the water column, pop, stop, let them sit there. Uh, most of your fish are going to come while it's on a pause. That's something that's very superior by using a jerk bait. Uh, but that's the way we go about uh, catching most of our fish. Alright, so the reason that we like to use Mega Bass, and that's our choice of jerk bait, is because it just flat out catches fish. Over the years, this has been the most productive bait in both of our arsenals, probably. I mean, it truly, at all. I mean, it really is just a fish catching bait. They love them, and people talk about, you know, it's only a wintertime thing. You'd be surprised. You can catch them all year round on these things, even in the summer sometimes. But these baits, you know, we choose these over other competitor brands because of the fact that when we go out with other people and they're throwing the other brands, you know, we're catching three to one of their fish every single time, typically. And guess what? If by chance they are catching a fish or two more than us, we got a color because Mega Bass makes literally every single color you can imagine for any scenario. So they are the superior jerk bait by far. They have a lot of other good products that they make too, but we stand by these things. And again, I mean, they've done us really well throughout the years. So that's why we choose Mega Bass and that's why we support the company like we do is because we believe in them. All right guys, so I'm talking about some of our favorite colors we like to use. I'm talking about the ones I like to use in the clear water. Uh, first one I'm gonna have here is called the Tennessee Shed. Uh, it's a very nice color. Uh, you can it's see through slightly, uh, gold on the top. It's a, caught me a lot of really great fish. This one is hook burns all over it, paint missing. It's been a great one. Uh, also the Threadfin Shed has been very good as well. This is the one that I caught my PB on. Uh, as well. Also very worn out. It's been through it, uh, but this one's been great. Really good on a sunny day in clear water. And then my new favorite one I've been using a lot lately, you guys probably saw it in a couple videos ago, is the SBOB Shed. It's a very great color. It's got a very nice red uh, color to it when you look at it from the bottom. The top is green and mostly see-through, uh, but this, this bait is great in the clear water. So I'm going to talk about the three colors that we narrowed down for more cloudier days or if it's raining or, you know, those situations. So Namco Reaction, this one is a little bit harder to get, but it's a phenomenal color. I caught a lot of fish on this, same like he was saying. It's got hook rash all over it. Probably caught 100 fish on this one single bait itself. Another color that we really like is F.A. Shirayu. And this one, again, it's a really natural looking one. It looks just like a shad, and it's got that darker hue to it. So on those cloudier days, sometimes they like something a little bit more, you know, not as translucent, something more solid, so solid side colors. Um, and another color that we really like to use is this one. It's more like a Table Rock Special type color. It's got that purple on it with the hue of the white to it. And we do really well on these colors. Again, if it's cloudy, rainy, days that you go out there and you would expect to catch a big fish, those are the colors that typically do it for us. So those are some colors we like to use. And if you guys have any other ones that you like to use, leave it in the comments, let us know. Uh, it's really hard to break down, you know, three of the best colors whenever they make so many and we own a bunch of them. So these are ours and we'd be curious to know, know what you guys are. So thank you. We appreciate that. So there's so many different kinds of jerk baits that they make and there's lots of different applications for different ones and I'll give some examples. So let's say for example the juniors, the smallest ones they make. They are great for ponds and small rivers, lakes, things where you know it's not too deep but there's still fish in there. I absolutely love those things and I've caught a lot of fish, you know, especially like grass lakes for example. If the grass is really high in it and there's only a few feet of water between, try a junior. You might catch a fish with it. 
Uh, the next one that it goes is a plus one junior, which has a bigger bill. It's still the smaller body, just it dives a few feet deeper, which again, they're great for those smaller bodies of water. From there, it goes to the 110, which is the normal, you know, what they're known for mega bass, the run of the mill ones. And they're great. They, I think they dive, what is it, six to eight feet, somewhere between, and they are absolutely phenomenal. That's what most of our baits are, are normal 110s. Then from there, it works up to the plus one which dives, I think it's 10 to 11 feet, 10 to 12, somewhere in that range. But they're great. Once That's once you start working more towards the bigger bodies of water. If you're fishing big lakes, you know, reservoirs, things where you need to get your bait down there pretty deep, that's where, you know, we would recommend a plus one. And then it goes all the way up to a plus two as well. And those, I think, dive like 15 plus feet. It's ridiculous. But they have an application for literally everything in these jerk baits. And so if you don't own one, it's 100% worth picking one up. They do have kind of a steep price tag, but once you buy one and you get to use it and see why they you know, cost so much, you'll understand. So, and then uh, you know, same with different bodies of water, uh, you're gonna choose the baits differently depending on the weather conditions. Uh, I was talking about some good sunny day clear water uh, baits a, a bit ago. Uh, we want things that are translucent, uh, a little bit more finesse. Also helps in pressured areas. Uh, and when it gets to being like a cloudy day, maybe rainy. Uh, you want to go with a more full body color, of a, uh, a darker color, just so the fish can pick it up a little bit better. Alright guys, so we're going to show you some of our uh, favorite ones out of our collections, uh, more rare Mega Bass Jerk Baits. Um, my first one here is the uh, Purple Zebra. It's a uh, very sweet looking color. I mean, purple's my favorite color personally, and I just love this bait. Uh, next one I got here is the Snakehead Republic. It's a very rare uh, old school box with the money box on it. It's pretty sweet. Uh, I got the uh, matte red lizard. It's a very reptilian look bait there. It's pretty cool. And then the last one I got here is the uh, Sunset Teaser. It's got a bunch of colors on it. Just a really sweet bait. Um, I haven't fished it, but I know a lot of guys that love these things up north. That they say they tear up the smallmouth. I believe it. So you guys can see we also got the Mega Bass Asylum box here. Filled to the gills with mega bass baits, all the way from crank baits, top waters, of course the jerk baits themselves. Um, I'm going to show you my personal four favorite jerk, mega bass jerk baits out of my collection. The first one, and keep in mind, I'll be honest, I don't really know any of the names of these. There are a lot of them are older ones, but this is the first color. It's beautiful. It's one of the 2000 models, and I just recently started using it. I've caught a few fish already on it, and I absolutely love this thing. So that's my first one. The next one is one of their racing series, and this one is extremely rare. It's, again, I don't know the name of this one, but it's beautiful, and it's got that same kind of to the sunset teaser with that pink on the top, but it has more of a natural translucent side. The next one is, I think this one at least starts with twilight. It's a beautiful color. Again, I haven't had the chance to fish this one. It's more of a collector's one, but it is absolutely beautiful. And then the last one is, I think it starts with camo something, but this bait actually caught me a five pounder. I think it was last year. And so I love this one and it's more of a collector's one as well. So these are some of our rare mega bass that we've collected over the years. And it's something that we enjoy doing is getting to collect these lures and, you know, have memories and fish over the years on them. And, you know, just like anything else, there's always a way to collect something. You know, everyone has their hobby, their knack, and this just kind of happens to be ours when it comes to collecting stuff. It's these Mega Bass jerk baits, all the different colors they have. You know, of course, there's rare ones that are worth, I mean, Morning Dawn's worth, what, $1,500, two grand? It's ridiculous. So we love these things, and, you know, we just wanted to show you some of the ones we like to use.